Dragon's gonna get that money! 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 We're gonna get that money. We're gonna get that money. <laughs> Hi, I'm Black Dragon, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Black Dragon Biker TV. And as always, we'd like to thank you for tuning in from wherever it is in the world that you happen to be. And um, uh, we want to let everyone know that we have a no-cursing policy. I think we've said that uh, time and time again. And I'm very proud of you guys for what you have been doing with the cursing. Uh, it's really exciting to know that you guys are listening and uh, you guys are doing <laughs> uh, big things and trying not to curse. And the kids are watching, so we're very happy about that. Um, and so some of the uh, inventive ways you guys have come up to spell cuss words that, that you've come up with uh, just really uh, tickles me. And uh, I'm glad everybody's being a bit good sport about it. Uh, so tonight's video uh, is about... Uh, uh, an interesting thought that came to mind. I wanted to make a quick video about it. Uh, today I've had a very interesting conversation. If you saw my video or actually podcast, uh, can a over-the-road trucking uh, club be set up to operate and really have the same kind of a brotherhood as a motorcycle club uh, really was what that was about. And um, it uh, was exciting to talk to those guys. They had me uh, in on their conversation on their national meeting as they're a new club and they're trying to get together and I was honored that they would ask me to help. It was just a big honor and uh, I hope you guys go listen to that podcast because there's a lot that I think a lot of folks could learn from that podcast. So uh, a few minutes after I get off of the meeting with the and, and let me tell you, I have, was never ready for, uh, never even considered, never have been close to being ready to uh, be talking to a trucker club or a car club about uh, setting up their brotherhood. I, I'm just amazed that that would happen, but I suppose a brotherhood is a brotherhood, and you want it to, to, to work like a brotherhood, so um, uh, I guess maybe I shouldn't be amazed, but I was absolutely amazed uh, that they would invite me to to their meeting, and I was just uh, excited and glad to participate. And as soon as I uh, turn off the, uh, the 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 recording system, I get this message in from a uh, different kind of a club. So I guess there are more than just motorcycle clubs watching this channel, and I'm so thankful to have you. And I hope that. Uh, uh, you're learning as much as you say you are, and if I can help, I will. And I wanted to make this uh, video, and I believe this video goes hand in hand, kind of with Motorcycle Club. So let me read it. Yo, Black Dragon, what's good, brother? Just wanted to drop you a line in appreciation for all that you do. You're welcome. Uh, your videos and perspectives are spot on motivation. As president of the Downtown Wrecking Crew, I use your videos for instructional aids for all my officers. Wow, that's amazing. And I'm, I'm really honored and uh, embarrassed and blushing and all those things um, that uh, the downtown wrecking crew would use my videos. Uh, we are a motorized bicycle club in Sacramento, California. I didn't know such clubs existed, so 
a motorized bicycle club. So I, I don't know what a motorized bicycle is yet, uh, but I would imagine it's like a, like the old-time bicycles uh, in the 1800s that they had motor, motors on. Uh, and those bicycles were the first things that became motorcycle clubs. Those were really actually like the first kinds of motorcycle clubs, believe it or not. So these guys are back to the history of motorcycle clubbing because um, they're on motorized bicycles, and that's where first motorcycle clubs came from. So let's see. Um, we are a motorized bicycle club in Sacramento, California, because we ride bicycles. We are not an MC, obviously. We label ourselves an RC, a riding club, but our brotherhood is more like a true motorcycle club. That's our brotherhood. Our mission is to bring awareness to local charities, and we limit our chapter membership to 10 men because our research has shown that the smaller clubs are more like family. We are currently considering opening another chapter in Washington, D.C. There is a solid group of riders out there that have expressed an interest in opening a chapter. I have never met any of them in person, but have been friends through social media for years. Therein lies my concern. Do you think opening a chapter so far away is advisable? I'm hoping to meet them in October, driving across the country for a motorbike rally in upstate New York. My main concern is how will we be looked at by the largest motorcycle crew in the country that is based out of L.A.? They have chapters all over. So um, is it possible to maintain order from across the country with a real small network, or should we just keep it status quo? So uh, there's a couple things here. Um, one is, hell yes, you should absolutely spread your brotherhood to as many places that, that want to have it. That's how I feel. Not, not everybody feels that way. There are some motorcycle clubs that are really going to, to do well or some, some organizations that do well as a single unit, a single chapter. That's all they want to do. That's all they're going to do. There's some that do that. But as for me, I believe you should spread yourself. And heck, yes, you can control them. And you really shouldn't want to worry about controlling them. If your bylaws are set up right, they will control themselves. And everybody will spread the brotherhood. And for me, as many people as can get it as possible... We have such a great thing. We have a good thing. We want to share it with many people. And maybe you keep your chapters down to 10 people. That's not something that we necessarily do, but, you know, that's your culture, your what we call club culture. Uh, and your club culture can be anything that you want it to be. But so, yes, spread out. Yes, you'll be able to control them. These are people that you know. You have a relationship. You've, you've known them for years. You don't have to meet people to know them. Uh, I have had many friends over the internet. I've been, I've you know, I've been in computers since the military. I've been in computers since the '80s. I've been on networks since before uh, the World Wide Web came around. And yeah, I've had many friends that I've had for years and years and years and never met, but they were as close to me as could be because we share things in writing. We share. Uh, ups and downs, and my my uh, war crew that I fight with, Hell's Mercenary Crew and uh, TAO together as one that I fight with in War Commander on Facebook. And man, we're always looking for new people for War Commander. So if you like a a good game on Facebook that you can play for hours and hours and fight and kill people and all that stuff, come join me and and Hell's Mercenary Crew and together as one uh, as we fight in War Commander. I love that. But I want to say that those people have become like brothers to me. Uh, there's a lot of those guys I've been friends with. I've been playing since 2012, and we're 2019 now, and there are a lot of guys that I've been friends with for years. So having friends on the Internet is just like having friends anywhere else. Uh, we are learning through today's time that you don't have to have a physical connection to have a relationship. Like a guy who takes a spaceship to Mars is still married to his wife, even though they might not be seeing each other. They can be giving each other everything mentally that you could possibly give in their letters back and forth. So make those guys your brothers. Now, the thing that I want to focus on here for the next few minutes is the part you said, uh, the biggest reason that you might want not want to do this is because you are concerned. My main concern, my biggest concern, you said, my main concern, exact quote, is how will we be looked at by such and such club 
the largest motorbike crew in the country? And the answer to that is, who gives a damn? To hell with what the set thinks about how you look. You should be only concerned about how you are to you and your brothers, how you look to you and your brothers on the Black Sabbath Motorcycle Club. We have our heart patch. It says a breed apart. Ever since 1974, we realized that we wanted to stand apart and be apart and be a breed apart unto ourselves. We care about what the Black Sabbath looks like to the Black Sabbath Motorcycle Club Nation, the mighty Black Sabbath Motorcycle Club Nation. We don't care about who we look like to anybody else, and you shouldn't either. Concern yourself with taking care of the brothers within your motorcycle club and the sisters. Treating each one like precious pieces of highly destructible metal. If you had a precious piece of metal that if you dropped it on the ground, it's worth a billion dollars, and when you drop it, it's worth one dollar. That's how you should treat your brothers. Like, I will not let you down, not ever. Because you are so precious to me. You are the greatest thing. And that's what we should be thinking about. That's what we should be looking at when we're looking at how we want to be perceived. I only care how my family perceives me. How you perceive me means nothing. Now, you can step up over here if you get the wrong perception and get you some. But other than that, as long as you're keeping your hands to yourself, I don't care what you say. I don't care what you talk about. I don't care about you putting your lips up in the air. I don't care about none of that. As long as you don't call me out personally and you want to come mess with me and my brothers, then go on on on. Do your own thing because we're going to do ours. So care ye not about what somebody thinks about you. So many motorcycle clubs would, 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 miss, would miss so much trouble and so much BS and so much negativism if they just didn't care about what somebody else thought about them. I think I want, I like, I feel. I think I want, I like, I feel. These are so small. And this comes, my, my sergeant in arms, this is his biggest pet peeve. I think I like, I want, I feel. And I've taken it up as my own battle cry. These are by far the simplest, smallest, stupidest things to concentrate on. What was that comment? Small minds. Oh, my goodness. Small minds think about, oh, my goodness, I messed up that. I have to come back to that. But it's something like small minds think about uh, events and uh, big minds think about um, uh, 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 let us say the um, oh my goodness I missed this quote up. I hate that. It was in my mind. I forgot it. But basically small minded people think about small minded things and large minded people think about overall big picture things the forest for the trees. Uh, a, a large-minded person can see the forest, and a small-minded person can't see the forest for the trees. And there's so much more to the forest than the trees. This is kind of what you need to be thinking about. So uh, that's it on this subject. Grow. Grow your club. Grow your nation. And to hell with people. Th what, what people think about it. There, I get people, I get other channels that come, and they always make these videos about how they hate my channel. It's not just one. It's been many. How they hate my channel. What's wrong with it? And blah, blah. And I think I know this and that. And who died and made me a reporter? And uh, what, what makes you think you can talk? And, and that can't stop you. It doesn't stop me from moving forward. Because what means something to me is today when a trucker club asked me to help them, and I know I'm helping someone. That's all it's all about. You know that your motorcycle club deals with uh, um, uh, um, giving people uh, charity work and this, that, and the other, and that's what's important to you. That's what you should do. All right. Be sure and look up BikerLiberty.com where you can read more about this and other subjects. BikerLiberty.com, uh, our online magazine, and also our podcast, 
which is the Dragon Slayer Motorcycle Chaos that you can find on iHeartRadio and every place else, like Spotify and stuff. The Dragon Slayer Motorcycle Chaos. And, um, uh, yeah, so that and that uh, would be cool. Check that out. And uh, Dragon's Gear. We've got Dragon's Gear at blackdragonsgear.com. Don't forget to like and share this video. And also like uh, and subscribe to the page and hit the notification bell. And we are on Facebook at Black Dragon Biker TV, or Black Dragon Biker, actually, as well as we are on YouTube at Black Dragon Biker TV. We are Instagram, Black Dragon Biker TV, and Twitter, J Bunch II. That's my two cents. Let us know your comments in the comments section below. And that's my two cents. We're going to leave with uh, some outtakes from the biker uh, 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 motorbike club. Uh, I think this is so cool. The motorized bike. I wish I had had one of these when I was much younger. Now I'd fall off of it and hurt myself. But the motorized biker club out of Sacramento, California. I believe that's where the Diaz brothers come from. Something like that. Uh, So let's see. We are a motorized bike club, and the name of them is the Downtown Wrecking Crew. So take a few pictures. We're glad you guys you guys send me pictures, and I'll definitely put them in my videos. So we're definitely glad to have you guys. Thanks for tuning in, and get skinny. The x one single, ain't ready to mingle, ain't ready to mingle. The x one single, ain't ready to mingle, ain't ready to mingle. The x one single. Ain't ready to mingle, ain't ready to mingle The X one single, the X one, the X one, the X one single Ain't ready to mingle, ain't ready to mingle The X one single, ain't ready to mingle, ain't ready to mingle The X one single, ain't ready to mingle, ain't ready to mingle The X one single, ain't ready to mingle, ain't ready to mingle The X one single, ain't ready to mingle, ain't ready to mingle The X one single, ain't ready to mingle, ain't ready to mingle Dominican and Vicky Mama's calling me Papi. 
I be digging to myself like a really gon' stop. Uh, uh, nobody, that's a fat jack, and this is black jack. And I'm about my bitches like Craig back on the boulevard with the models at. Uh. They ask why I'm single. Ain't ready to mingle, ain't ready to mingle. They ask why I'm single. Ain't ready to mingle, ain't ready to mingle. They ask why I'm single. Ain't ready to mingle, ain't ready to mingle. They ask why I'm single. 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 Ain't ready to mingle, ain't ready to mingle